After samples being prepared, you need to prepare some pictures of these six samples like this. Uh, like these pictures that I'm showing to you and uh, input the pictures to the software here um, uh, we see some samples sample pictures here I'm using picture one okay you will have some pictures like this at first you need to input the uh, calibration file you will come to the special calibration load I'm using the calibration file that I created in the starting and uh, now we can see the scale and uh, the procedure for recognizing the the carbon agglomerates will be as uh, I'm showing. You will use object extraction, color or gray intensity threshold here. You will define at first the area you are going to analyze. You see some agglomerates concentration that is in this area. I'm making an area around that point I'm using polygon to create the requested area okay it's polygon 1 then I'm selecting the polygon 1 then uh, uh, I'm going to assign a class based on the standard you will have we will need to have some classes. The classes will be according to this table here. 5 to 10 micron, 11 to 20, uh, something about 5, 6 uh, classes will be enough. Then I'm adding these classes, class 1, class 2, each will be defined automatically with a specific color. Okay, close. Then I'm clicking the process. Only click one time. Okay, after the process is being done, you will see the agglomerates with uh, with red color around the agglomerates, carbon agglomerates and let's uh, label these carbon agglomerates okay I'm going to label we need to define what parameter of these defined samples need to be labeled I'm clicking on length, defining the text size, apply, okay. You see the recognized uh, agglomerate size labeling on the picture. And if the pictures uh, are not much, I mean the agglomerates of the carbon black is not much, uh, you will not uh, you're not uh, just seeing uh, many many of these agglomerates carbon agglomerates you can easily define the uh, class of uh, dispersion according to the table and the standard but if it is much you need to use uh, classification I'm going to use single parameter classification based on the length here uh, I'm going to define 5 micron to 10 micron in size as class 1 keep the last result apply from 10.01 to 20 to class 2 
and it will be continued like this.